It really do be like that, though. When you first start learning the real history of the DPRK, it's like, no way. There's no way that most of the things I've been told about this country are false. There's no way that they're not a despotic totalitarian dictatorship. And you're resistant to supporting them, but then you continue to read about their history. And you learn that the US and UN divided Korea in half by having two members of the US military with no knowledge of Korean history or culture draw a line on a National Geographic map. Then they proceeded to install a fascist dictator in the South who massacred pretty much everybody with leftist politics. Then began the US bombing campaign of Northern Korea, which unalived 20% of their population. And yet, they refused to back down, they refused to give up their sovereignty, and they refused to give up socialism to this day. And ever since that Korean War, when US bombs wiped out Northern Korea's infrastructure, they've held them under some of the most stringent economic sanctions on Earth. And yet they still have their sovereignty and they still have the balls to go against US foreign policy interests like when they support the liberation of Palestine which they always have for their entire history. So the more you learn about these people in the northern part of Korea, the more you're like, how can I not support their struggle? Their struggle against US imperialism and capitalism is freaking heroic. And you can criticize them for sure. A lot of people would criticize the fact that they hold the Kim family up on a pedestal. But at least understand the context. Understand what the Kim family actually means to the people of the DPRK. Kim Il-sung led his people both in the anti-colonial war of independence against the brutal Japanese colonizers and against the United States and far-right South Korean militias in the Korean War. He was such an effective fighter that the U.S. had military units who were specifically tasked with hunting him down. So yeah, there's a cult of personality around his family, but they're heroes to this country. But none of this, none of this would ever be heard in Western media. I would be laughed out of the room and fired from MSNBC for even mentioning any of these objective facts. So yeah, solidarity with the DPRK. I don't care who's mad about it.